It's just a game of millimetres in here, honestly. It's like a really big spot of millimetres. It's, it's that overwhelming dread you get every morning when you come into work. <laughs> So I always get a little bit overwhelmed every morning when I come in and uh, know that I've got to start work. Been a bit crook the last couple of days, that was something on the gut, not really sure what it is. But um, yeah, I'm in deep in templating here. Um, you can see down the back here, starting to get uh, some of these templates uh, sorted out and it's been pretty physical, just climbing up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down 500 times a day. But um, yeah, the job's getting done but um, uh, it's, it's that overwhelming dread you get every morning when you come into work <laughs> that, wow, I think it's a bit big for me. Um, I deal with it pretty well. I sort of you know, go home and put it all into context, but I, I think it's important that when you're doing a project like this, you just keep focused. You go home, you do your research at home. I do all my research at home. I don't do any while I'm here. I'm purely here to work. Uh, I tend to go home and, uh, and bang out a... Uh, a night of research on the net or read or whatever and um, yeah start to get a little bit of a, a little bit of a challenging um, uh, scene going on here where I've got a lot of bulkheads and templates and things happening right this is the forward uh, crash bulkhead which I've shown you before this uh, shelf here is now dead level and you can see this um, this template I made here for the for the forward bulkhead um, this ultimately is a robe in here. Um, basically, the gunnel of the boat here intersects with the top there of that wing plate there, but you've got to remember that the deck actually comes up in a hump here, so I'm going to have to ascertain that shape off the deck mold, which currently is upright, so it's going to be a little bit awkward. I'm going to be laying in the mud outside here until I uh, ascertain that, but the important thing is that I get this one cut uh, straight, and then I can move on to the next... Uh, part out there and then add that to it and hopefully cut it all in one template. That's what I'm aiming to do. I'm going to have to allow about um, 20 mil for the foam because I think it's 20 mil foam core in a deck up in the deck profile here. Um, but I'll cut them oversize and then I can trim them back once the actual bulkheads are in place. I'll trim them back with a jigsaw just as I cap the boat. But yeah, it's, uh, it's taken on a bit of shape here. We're getting some three-dimensionality to it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's such an amazing thing that's changing, honestly. I, I don't know how the hell you do it without it. You'd be here forever. Okay, so I reckon this cardboard um, templating idea, along with the change you give the go, because it's gonna save me about 300 visits up and down this hull. Um, I've basically bolted this one on here. Draw a line to make sure you can then line it up once you get it up on your template, just in case it moves. Once again, there's another one here. There's another one down here, another one over here, right up, and then we're pretty good for the rest of it. Just gotta remember, these are gonna be sharp points. I don't want rounded corners, I want dead sharp points. And then I've made a line here so uh, I can get this thing all level. Now I know that this is a vertical, has to be dead vertical, so it must sit on a straight, straight edge of this. And I also know that I need 200 from this point to this point, and that's exactly 200 because remembering that the deck profile is going to go something like this. So before I go drawing it out on the MDF, I'm gonna just check that these um, adjustments that I've got to make are exactly in line. So they've moved slightly. Make sure that everything is perfectly in line. Whoops, sorry guys.
So I'm going to make these little braces to hold all this stuff up. So I need them a metre apart um, for, for this particular bulkhead. And then into one metre. And for all of you um, metrically challenged, um, you won't hear me talking feet. I'm sorry. I've moved on. <laughs> So I'm just going to walk you through uh, this bloody bomb site. Um, yeah, this MDF's really getting uh, annoying. <laughs> it's just so messy, but you know we all have to deal with it. It's just the perfect stuff for templates. But uh, we've basically got a complete set of templates up here now on the bow. Um, I've made a bit of an error over here, and uh, it's pretty easy to fix, I just need to add another piece, but see this black line down here, um, that actually is the main bulkhead that intersects along the front of the head and then across, so this, this bulkhead actually has to intersect with that, um, this is my 2400mm station, um, yeah essentially it's got to connect with that particular bulkhead there, so I'll just add another piece and then I can square it up with a um, with a, uh, a level. Hey, what I've also done is I've just braced it in with some um, some overlapping pieces here to keep it all together. It's like one of those um, uh, toy dinosaurs that you buy at, uh, at the toy shop. But yeah, no, little clamps like this, just, just a way of holding it all together, making sure that everything's in place. So you can see down here, uh, the main forward bulkhead and where those blue clamps are over on the left, it's going to actually go up and over with the whole profile, the deck profile. Um, yeah, next job I'll do is uh, I'll probably finish up over here on this side over here and uh, get this other forward bulkhead done so I've got the whole forward section complete. So there's another one going down in there and uh, yeah, really looking forward to doing that little top down there. Okay, so I've got an area here that doesn't quite fit. I've made this template, uh, this one's from the other side, but it almost fits perfectly, but there's a couple of things I'm going to have to trim this bit off here. Um, this area here, I need to make a piece that goes here. So you come up with a little cardboard template like this, and uh, that's enough. That's all you need to do to get these, uh, these shapes right, little bits of cardboard like this, and make sure you draw around them so you know where they fit. If it doesn't meet the where you want to do it, you just uh, whack a bit of cardboard on, make sure you line it up screw it in place and then you can get a pretty accurate result um, it's worked so far so I'm sticking with it This has taken about an hour to get level, but it's dead level now. Um, look, the fiddling around is so worth it because it means when I come to actually cutting the uh, the actual bulkhead, it's going to make a massive difference to my time. So, well, we're spending the time templating now, and uh, oh, let's see if that changed anything. Nah, perfect. Okay, so let's take a look at the last few days' work. I've uh, templated the uh, bulkhead floors uh, right up into the bow here. Got these wing plates all in place and over to the other side. So very, very uh, good to see some shape happening and not just flat laminating. Um, this is where sort of, you know, I've had a bit of an interesting week. There's been a nice change up for me. But uh, yeah, it's, it's very pleasing. I'm looking at... Uh, uh, some structure for me. <laughs> it's only taken 12 months. But anyway, here we are. And I've got a bit of a region up here. Uh, this obviously here is, is uh, a storage locker for ropes or whatever. There is a hatch up on the bow. But uh, down in this area here, I've got uh, room now to place a cabinet in here on the side of the head uh, with a n number of shelves, I guess, to put um, you know, excess toiletries and stuff. And then this area here is actually designed for a washing machine now. 
Uh, I'm not really sure why a washing machine would be in the bow of a boat. That uh, doesn't really seem to be a good place for it, but I'm going to leave it because ultimately we may want a washing machine in it. It's going to be a small bugger, whatever it is, but yeah, looking good, eh? It's, uh, it's pretty pleasing. So what happens here is the bulkhead comes across here, intersects with this, and then straight across to there. So it is a cranked bulkhead or an elbowed bulkhead, and uh, yeah, looking good. Okay, this bulkhead uh, down here that goes against the bathroom module has uh, has been a bit of a challenge. Um, probably took me about an hour, I reckon, to get that formed up. Um, I'd sort of move this side and then this side would move, so bracing it up is really important. Um, basically, it's going to come up and go vertical uh, from that point down here straight up, and then there's another one that intersects it. So, yeah, a little bit uh, of a challenge in geometry to work with but it certainly uh, has done the job Adjustment, I think it's uh, just not quite fitting because the lip of the bathroom it's on a slight angle, so I've got to trim it. I've got to say, it's a very exciting stage because I'm seeing massive stuff going in and uh, and just flat sheets. Just enjoyed, enjoyed. So moving on to the uh, 2400 station here, uh, this is my main forward bulkhead that goes across, it'll actually intersect right across these panels, uh, these wing plates and then across at 45 degrees and intersect with that bulkhead in front of the main head. Yeah, quite a significant structure, this, this is a 12mm plywood sheathed in 300 and 600 double bias and then uh, tabbed to the floor and to the ceiling and to everyone of the bulkhead, so major structural member. And uh, this is uh, the, the also a doorway into that wardrobe, which is a storage wardrobe. So as you can see, it's a fairly uh, tedious task. There's a lot of climbing, a lot of lifting, and uh, and certainly a lot of thinking uh, in this process. And uh, what goes along with this is also doing the videos. There's a hell of a lot of work involved in this, so if you wouldn't mind giving it a like or a dislike, whichever way you feel, uh, certainly um, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe because that helps YouTube think that we're uh, we're uh, engaging with our community out there. And uh, you know, and I have a lot of conversations with you guys in our comments and through our Facebook as well. And I've met up with a couple of guys, in fact, the last couple of weeks. So please give it a like. Please subscribe it. And, uh, and, and yeah, just, just support all of us boat building channels because that's really important to us that we know that you guys are out there watching and enjoying our content. Thanks guys, and here's a little bit more for you. All right, I've got a very complicated shape here. Um, we've got to get this back at 45 degrees. We're assuming it's 45 degrees, but we're trying to work out the template for this. My jig's not gonna quite work. They measure along that line there, there, there. To, from there. Is that, what is that, around 1200? One meter. Well, that's perfect. So a sheet. One meter. Yeah, that's perfect. Well, that's okay. That means we can use one one, one meter, sheet. Five mil. So this one's been a little bit of a challenge, a bit of a complicated shape, but uh, we pulled it off. Johnny, oh, he's going to get me some lunch. I'm going to transfer this over here. Okay, so I've got my shape here. You're all lined up here, and I've extended it out to 1200 here because we're going to add a bit onto the top of it. It's just manhandling everything on my own. I'm just lucky every now and then I can just grab a guy and help, but that's uh, typically that's me on my own. <laughs> it's just a game of millimeters in here, honestly. <laughs> it's like everything fits by the millimeter. Thank you. 
So the time had come to uh, clean up the flanges on these modules that I'd um, prepared a couple of weeks earlier. Uh, it, it's a bit of a dusty process, but you know they cleaned up really easily. It's simply that diamond wheel is just you know it was a five minute job on each uh, each of these modules to get them cleaned up, and uh, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll be able to show you me putting them in because once I got them in the boat, uh, I started to find out that everything really fit well uh, alongside of those bulkheads. So that's uh, to look forward to in the coming coming episodes, guys. But uh, for now, you're going to have to endure a couple more minutes of this grinding. <laughs> 